Hello everyone. I have been hearing that you all are a bit confused about identifying relevant and irrelevant data from a case note. So let's talk about that today. In the OET writing subtest, candidates are given a case note of a patient. The challenge is to identify which information is relevant to include in the letter and which is irrelevant based on the specific purpose of the letter. Distinguishing between the two is crucial for achieving a high score and here is how to recognize and handle relevant and irrelevant data. The first thing to do is to determine the letter's purpose. The purpose of your letter will get what information is relevant. Relevant data typically includes patient identification like name, age, gender and sometimes address. Presenting problem or the primary reason for the current medical visit or consultation. Relevant medical history which includes past issues related directly to the presenting problem or that might influence treatment decisions. Relevant medications that is the drugs the patient is currently taking that are related to the condition being discussed. Relevant investigations like any test, results or evaluations related to the main concern. Treatment given which is obviously what has been done so far for the patient regarding the main problem. And finally, your recommendations or requests which are very crucial in a referral letter. On the other hand, irrelevant data might include underrated past medical history as if someone is being referred for a knee problem, a minor unrelated condition like a childhood chicken box might be irrelevant. Extraneous personal details age, gender and sometimes address are necessary but other personal details like marital status, number of children are often unnecessary unless it has some influence on the issue. Unnecessary information which includes the avoidance of repetition. Even if a piece of information is mentioned multiple times in the case note, it doesn't need to be repeated multiple times in the letter. Unrelated medications especially if the patient is on multiple drugs are also irrelevant data. Only those related to the condition you are addressing or that could interact with potential treatments need to be mentioned. Remember, in the OET writing subtest, your goal is to provide a clear, coherent letter that conveys all necessary information without overwhelming the reader with extraneous details. Properly identifying and prioritizing relevant data is key to achieving this goal. So, until we meet again, stay studious.